few months ago, I made a TikTok on the V's, pointing out that the word V has the same letters as Eve. And with Eve being associated with Rue, it makes sense that the V's would represent the root of all evil. Using mind control via TV and love potions to manipulate employees and the other denizens of hell. Alistair claims that Vox will be powerless without the other V's. Valentino with his adult entertainment studio and Velvet's tech savviness and constant eye for trends. However, one of these two has been running the show the whole time, and it's Velvet. She invented love potions, orders Vox to deal with a violent vow, and is the only one of the V's to show up during the Overlord's meeting. Take a look at the lyrics from Respectless. I'm the backbone of the V's. This is an admission to being the root of all evil. And before you roll your eyes at me, let's look at the evidence. Exhibit A. There is tension between Vel and Carmilla, an angelic weapon stealer who wears angelic steel shoes. Many spiritual articles speak of Jesus as a man of steel and velvet, meaning a man who can hold those accountable while empowering others to lead. Of course, Velvet wouldn't take orders from someone else, and neither would Rue. Exhibit B. No matter how Vel does her hair, there's always a white swirl. Even when she was electrocuted, that swirl remained untouched. Not only does its color resemble the exorcist, but it also represents this statue, the same swirls. As I've said in a previous video, I've theorized that this angel has killed a unicorn to use its horn to make an angelic weapon. Unicorns are often depicted as symbols of purity. Only someone wicked would do such a thing. Exhibit C is maybe the most damning piece of evidence. Here are the designs for Rue from Dizzy Pop and the other staff, and here is Velvet's design from the pilot. Other than the lips and the eyes, these two are nothing alike. However, this creepy smile reminds me of the evil that we see in the first episode. Now let's look at Velvet's design in the series. She retains the eyeshadow, red eyes, and black lips. Her clothes increasingly look more like Rue. Here we can see a black fedora. Here we can see a sleeveless trench coat and a crop top. If my theory is correct, Velvet and Rue were created separately during the pilot, and now they are the same person. Oh, one more thing. Vox, Val, and even Alistair have shown to bleed from their mouths. Velvet hasn't bled from her mouth, but Rue has. Exhibit D starts off with a question. How did Velvet find the angel's head? Well, when you're competing for the souls of powerful demons, it's best to keep an eye out for anything scandalous. 